I think I, I find it difficult to know when I'm reading French. I can, I can read the French and I can understand the words. Uh, if I don't understand the words, I have a dictionary, I can check I, I, and I can see the meaning of the words. What worries me is I'm not sure if I understand the subtext. And that is my big worry, that you, you recognize the words on the page and you understand the first meaning of, of them. Uh, but I, I'm never quite sure if I'm getting every nuance of the, the writer. Um, if there's something behind the lines, I'm, I'm never quite sure. I think in your, in your own language, you always know the, the, the full meaning the, the, of, a, of a story, but in, in another language there is always that worry that you're not getting everything. Um, but undoubtedly, to see the writer's style in their own language is very important because a translator, normally a translator, puts their style, their mark on the the text that they write and so you never get to see you you're seeing the translator's style not the original writer's style so i think it's always important if you can to see the words that the, the writer actually chose in to go back to um plays speaking about plays uh chekhov was always labeled as a his plays were always labeled as comedies and most of the translations I wrote were not funny at all. <laughs> and it wasn't until I, I saw a, a really, some really excellent translations in theatre, I realised, yes, they are comedies, yes, they are funny, because most translations are very dry and uh, lose the humour entirely. So uh, the translator gets in the way sometimes. So it's, I think it's better if you can to, to read the, the work in the, the original language.